You guys are in for a real treat. You guys have been seeing this character called Big Bob all weekend. Yeah, we know the story. But you know what? None of that matters. He's probably going to tell you that because he's going to say, where are you going? Where's your service? Where's your commitment? Where's your change? I've only known him for a short few months, but I'm going to tell you, his advice is sound. It is sound. And the thing that I love the most about him is he puts his family right there at the top of his priority. Every time I hear him talk, he says he does this for his boys. He does this for his grandkids. He does it for everybody that he loves. How many of you guys can say that? Because you should be able to say that. You should be clapping for your family. You should be clapping for the life that you have because it's yours. You know what your kids are to you? Do you know what they are? They are the gift to the world. When you raise them right, they are the gift to the world. So put your hands together. Let's hear it for a big Bob himself. <laughs> Organization. 
becoming the best you by me helping becoming the best you I'm becoming a better me. The ability to serve, to give back, is probably the most important part of this whole platform. We have a village. Everybody has to carry water. You can't just drink from the well and not participate in protecting the well carrying the water, helping the village. Some of us can give back more, some of us can give, only can give back less. But if every day you smile, if every day you do a good deed, you're helping, you're helping. So, and a little bit about me, because most people here probably don't know who I am, They've seen maybe some silly TV commercials. And, and it's wonderful. Uh, Big Bombs is about to celebrate our 40th anniversary in November. But, but very quickly, I'd like to tell you my story. Uh, I graduated from Ithaca College, 93 out of a class of 95 in phys ed. One is the best. Two's pretty good. 93 out of 95. Why even bother going to school? My teachers told me I had ADD. I told them they're wrong. I had straight D's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, six weeks later, I had a full scholarship to Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois to coach football. This was the first correct wall I had put my ladder up against. And Understanding, and I'm going to regress a little bit, but if you want to be successful, the most critical part of being successful is putting your ladder up against the right wall. Because if you put your ladder up the wrong wall and you get to the top, you're nowhere. You're not where you want to go. So first you've got to discover the right wall to put your ladder up against. So anyways, stayed at Northwestern, went to the University of Pittsburgh, uh, we won a national championship there. So, two and a half years on graduation from college, Division Three. I wanted to be a coach, and I'm coaching on a national championship football team. I climbed the right ladder. Thank you. Mm, that's a nice goal. Well, what the hell are you going to do? What is your action plan to execute it? Where's the accountability? So my first day, I sat here and took copious notes. Brian, will you put some of my notes up on the board, please? All right. So most of you probably wrote down these notes. And if you haven't, copy this. I, do I have to read it? No. No, I don't need to read it. But. I will read you some of my words. And this is going to stay up, because these are just some of the notes I took away. And it was my intention to have the, the, the notes up here with who the author was. And um, is there another screen that goes behind this, Brian? No. No. Yes? OK. So there was a lot more to it. but. I have my own notes, and some of the things that I've written over the years, some of it in my books, some of it not in my book. But one of the great challenges in life is discovering what your gift is. Everybody has a gift. Whether you call it a superpower or a gift, everybody has a gift. And I don't care if you're a maintenance man, or you take care of yards. Everybody has a gift. Your challenge is discovering your gift, acknowledging your gift, and then developing the skills that enhance your gift. Honoring the gift our Creator gave you. Not taking it for granted. A 
expanding on it. Everybody has a gift. You got to develop it, whether you're reading, mentoring. It doesn't matter how you do it. Everybody's different. There's no two people in this room who are the same, and there's no two people who are writing down the same goals. Everybody is an individual. We were created individual, and we each have our own unique covenant with God. And that is what makes all of us special. There's an old expression, work smarter, not harder. Here's the secret for somebody who's successful. You gotta learn smarter before you work smarter. Yeah. Don't be so damn arrogant to think you've already had the top of the mountain because you're not. If you put your ladder against the right wall, it keeps expanding. There's no such thing as the top of the mountain. It's a landing place. It's a stop. It's a resting spot. But the ladder keeps going up. If you acknowledge your gift and what you can give back and serve the community, you will have an opportunity to be in the rarefied, tall clouds of success. But it's not an entitlement. I'm thrilled to death that not everybody's going to be as successful as I am. Because the view at the top of my mountain would be awfully crowded if everybody was. So if you're just satisfied and content where you are, God bless you. I'd be more than glad to help you show you some shortcuts, lower the rope for you, but you're gonna have to do all your work yourself. There is no entitlement. And I think that's one of the problems with the United States of America for the last 80 years, is we're stuck in some sort of entitlement. Okay, don't mean to get politics. So, <laughs> by the way, politics is not one of the pillars of this organization. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Fear of failure prevents all positive possibilities. Fear of failure prevents all positive possibilities. All right. I got 17 seconds. Of course, of course I could go a lot longer. But I'm going to leave you with this. Be proud of who you are. Be proud. Hold on. Hold your applause. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of who you work for. Be proud of what you do. Be sure to tell everyone. Go Chiefs. All right, everybody get out your cell phones, and you're going to go over to whatsupbigbob.com because he's got a new podcast out, and he's hired BTBY to do it, which means he's helping fund this stuff. So I want you to go subscribe to that site, I want you to go watch that podcast. You want to tell him a little bit about it? The podcast is about whoever we're interviewing. It's not about me. It's not about my partner, Ann. It's, uh, we, we found some very interesting people and we'll continue to find, I think we've met some interesting people here, and we're going to basically talk about what's behind the curtain in their life, their profession, and uh, try to emulate their successes. Absolutely. So it's What's Up Big Bob and Ann, but the website is whatsupbigbob.com.